men are used to not pay everything for the girl because us girls permitted that. That's what you said. Yeah. Sorry okay. if it wasn't no, it's good fine. wording. <laughs> it's fine. I mean, if you want to, I think as a guy, if you want to min max have the most success when it comes to dating, you should probably pay for first dates. But let me let me add this. If, if you're a guy, you cannot pay. You shouldn't be dating. Yep. One, one thing about men, and I, I tell young men that work with me, I tell them they should wait until they're financially stable before they ever start dating. If your mama's still paying your phone bill, you shouldn't be dating women at all. If you're still living with your mama, you shouldn't be dating women at all. You should be focused on building your career, building yourself as a man, building your credit. When you get yourself to the point where you're sustainable, you're in your calling, then I think that's when you should start dating women. Because what happens is young men want to date a woman while, she, while he's down here. And then he start to grow on the ladder and then he got to drag this woman up with him and now he's miserable. Right. I think men should get themselves to a point where they're in their calling, they're financially stable and they can date women in the range that they want to right. instead of mm -hmm. settling and then trying to upgrade later. I, I really do think it's invaluable to do that. A man should always pay. That's how, that's how I feel. And even if the woman got more money than me, my wife, I think she was making more money than me when we first met. Just a little bit, maybe a, maybe 10,000 more a year. I think it's something of that nature. Sure. But it, my goal was to impress her. My goal was to show her that I'm a consistent man. I'm a reliable man. I'm financially stable. And so it wasn't a, what can you do for me? It was like, let me show you that this is what you get being mm -hmm. with a man like me. And I, obviously I won that. So yeah. <laughs> and Oh, go ahead, Brian. I, I'll just uh, address that really quick. Like, I would want to pay and be that guy for the right girl. Yeah, exactly. My issue is that the current dating climate, the current lands, dating landscape is, and both men and women move in very shady ways when it comes to dating, is as a guy, okay, you got a couple things, right? You have women who are promiscuous who ha or have a promiscuous past, who have high body counts, who did not hold themselves to a traditional standard currently or in their past. In that situation, I don't feel, I feel like almost taken advantage of or like I'm a sucker, I'm a mark for adhering to my traditional gender roles with a woman who is clearly not traditional or did not have a traditional past. As certainly, look, can somebody, can people have made mistakes in the past? Can they redeem themselves? Sure, but certainly a woman who's currently not traditional, I have very, I have like this gut reaction, like I'm a sucker if I pay for this girl, and she's like dating other men, she's um, sleeping with other men, like that's the way a lot of people move. How long have you been married? Four I mean, years. Four years. Oh, okay. I mean, you you were in the dating marketplace. Yeah. I mean, you know how people move. Like, people are dating and sleeping with multiple people at the same time. Maybe if you're like trying to narrow it down to, you know, Christian women, not so much. Although, you know, well, we had a girl on... Uh, two panels ago, uh, she said that she went. She was. She made it a goal to go on fifty dates with fifty men in fifty there days. I'll come back to that in just a second. Men should date when they have reliable finances, but paying for dinner on dates or even drinks with friends is a gesture I believe in. There's just a lot of women who overestimate themselves and misunderstand what the gesture oh. means. Yeah. Yo, Mr. Meatball, very good to see you in the chat, man. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. So I just don't want to feel like a sucker, basically, where... Oh, and the girl who was on the panel two shows ago, she said in a... Uh, she went on a date with a new guy every single day. And if I was date number 15, you just went on f 14 dates. She said she did two dates in a, in one day. Look, we're not... We just met. We're, we're not exclusives, uh, exclusive, obviously. But I would feel like man like she's not really respecting my time she's not really respecting that i'm making this traditional gender role gesture of paying for the first date by after our date she's gonna go on another date and she's got four dates lined up right and then that's how that's like a granted she said this on the show i don't think I don't think most women are going on a new date every single day of the week, but I've definitely had experiences. I've gone on dates with a girl and I'll ask them, so how's the dating life? And they're like, yeah, I just went on like four dates this past um, week. And I'm like, well, okay, I, see, like it to me. And the other thing, the big thing, 
the the worst thing the, the worst thing is if I go on a date with a girl and I pay for her food and then she's sleeping with another guy that I you know I might not be aware of because we just met right she takes the food that I paid for she gets a to-go bag brings it over to the guy's house who she's sleeping what? with who by the way never had to pay who never took her out he's just hot dude and then she gives him the food that i paid for as my romantic well, traditional gender oh, role no. well let me let me just say yeah. this let me no no no, no. it's a, that was a hypothetical this is too specific is right. that a hypothetical uh-huh. i don't think it's happened to me but it for sure <laughs> no, no. my god you know, for sure, no for sure this is like okay but you had that for, thought it's not even a thought. There are for sure women who go out with dates on men to this get a free experience, to get a free meal, and then while simultaneously having a guy that they're fucking, and they will meet up with the guy after they go on a date. How? This that, happens that's all true. the true. fucking true. time. That's true. That's true. All the time. It does. Girls, yep. girls have dudes in their phone, Uber, dinner. Mm-hmm. Like, girls will go on a date with a guy, and then after they'll give you the ass out hug, and then they'll go over to the guy's house who they're fucking, yep. who never paid for a date, mm-hmm. who never took them out. He's just the hot, like the hot dude. And to me, that's just, I don't know. Yeah, it, it happens. But what I would tell you if you were, you know, if I was giving some advice. You're my father. If I was your, you if if I was your brother, right? Yeah, don't <laughs> no, no. Well, you I got too many kids. I'm okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Right <laughs> I'm just shooting brother. my shot here. Okay. No, but what I would say is that, it's, you know, as a man, you have to work through things before you're ready to date. Because it seems like you have mm-hmm. a lot of things that have happened, even the things you've read. Obviously, you do a show, you see a lot of women that are just complete That's bums. And, and that really affects the way you perceive it. And I'd say you're going to keep running into real negative situations if that's what your mindset is. And I would say deal with those things within, and then you will be ready to, to actually date. When you're at the point where you don't care, you're not thinking about, well, what she's going to do with this money. You're at the point where you're meeting quality women that are that are primed and ready to really be in a relationship, mature women, and you take them on the dates and you have mature conversations. I think that's where you, I, you know, you got to meet, I, like people do apps and stuff, and, and it's okay to do apps. I, I, people do it. I think you will meet the person that's meant for you doing the things that you enjoy. Wait, I have a question. Where, where do you live currently? Are you in Arizona? You're in Arizona? Okay. Arizona. California is is a lost cause. <laughs> so is Arizona. It's, it's a failed society. Scottsdale. It's a failed society. What are you saying? I live in California. Just look. The I would say I that agree the, with you. the dating yeah. meta. But, but where are you dating these? The ex- what are the ages and where are you dating these women? Here in Santa Barbara. <laughs> exactly. Here in Santa Right. Barbara, so that's California. probably the problem. You mm. you probably want to you probably want to because there's a bunch of young. <laughs> Girls still try to figure themselves out. I drove when we were, I was driving here. Oh yeah, his girls insane. booty I out. I cannot believe how many oh women that had their whole booty out. I mean, yeah. the women that had no clothes it's on. It's true. 